Nano Banana just officially dropped and it literally destroyed Photoshop, Flux, and Midjourney. So here's what just happened. Google basically nuked the entire AI image generation industry overnight. And I'm not being dramatic here. I've been using ChatGPT, Flux, Midjourney, and look what they gave me for this prompt. I mean, it's okay, but it's not exactly what I expect from an AI image generator in 2025. But then Google drops Nana Banana, and suddenly every pay tool looks like a joke from 2022. And here's the insane part. While everyone else is charging you monthly subscriptions, Google just said, nah, have it for free. I've been going crazy with this thing for the past week, and I'm about to show you why every content creator, designer, and e-commerce brand needs to drop everything and learn this right now. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to access this for free, walk you through three different methods, and then blow your mind with live demonstrations, including virtual try-ons, character consistency, product photography, and text editing that would cost thousands to create professionally. Plus, I'll show you some direct comparisons where Nana Banana absolutely destroys its competitors. So by the end of this video, you will have everything you need to start creating Hollywood level images for free with Nana Banana. All right, so here's exactly how you get your hands on this right now. First thing, open up an incognito window. This is key because it's gonna help us get around any daily limits later. Click on this burger on your browser and new private window. Now head over to lmarena.ai. I'm putting this exact link in the description so you don't have to type it. Once you're here, you will see this page. Now this might ask you to verify you're human. Just click through that. Then you'll see accept cookies, just accept it. Okay, so now you're in, not even a sign up needed. So here's how this works. And there are actually three different ways to do this. The first method is what we're in right now, battle mode. This is where LM Arena randomly picks two different models to compare against each other. You get two results, vote on which is better and then it reveals which models were used. It's like a lottery. Sometimes you get Nana Banana, sometimes you don't. Then you've got side-by-side -side model. This is cool because you can actually choose which models you want to compare. So I could pick Gemini 2.5 Flash, which is basically Nana Banana, and then compare it directly against, say, Flux or Midjourney. You get to see them head to head with your exact prompt. And then there is direct chat. Click on direct chat. Now, when you're in direct chat, come down here and you will see generate images at the bottom. Click on that and boom, look at this. It automatically puts you on Gemini 2.5 flash image preview and that's actually Nana Banana. All right, so let's go ahead and start testing this thing. First up, virtual try on. So I've got this model and this blue dress. Watch what happens when I tell Nana Banana to generate her wearing it. So I'm gonna upload these images and type something like, generate the woman wearing the blue dress. And in 15 seconds, are you freaking kidding me? Look at this, perfect fit, exact same face, realistic fabric physics, and it even generated parts of her body that weren't visible in the original photo. Now, let's try doing the exact same thing with GBT-1 image generator. All right, so after about five minutes of waiting, it finally gave me this result. And look, I'm not gonna lie, it's not terrible by any means. The quality is decent, the composition is okay, but here's a problem. This is supposed to be the same person. And if you look closely, these look like completely different people. The facial features change and overall vibe of the shot is kind of off. Like the original has this specific vibe and energy, but this is just not the same character and style. Meanwhile, Nana Banana just generated a professional photo that maintains all the features in just 15 seconds. Okay, but here's where Nana Banana completely breaks reality. Character consistency across multiple generations. I've got this guy. Now, every other AI generated up tested, Mid Journey, Flux, GBT1, they all completely change the person's face when you ask for different angles or different environment. So I'm asking for a different camera angle, but keep the same character. Look at this, same guy, same clothes, but now it's a completely different shot. This looks like it was shot by the same camera guy. Here's what Flux gave me for the same prompt. That's not even close to the same person quality. I mean, come on. Now, here's where it get really interesting. Watch what happens when I change the entire environment. Look at that. It generated the identical face, not his cousin, not his twin, exactly his face. Let's try something like close up of his left eye. Again, perfect character consistency. Let me push this even further. I'm going to ask it to extract only the model's outfit, display it as a standalone product on a clean white background with detailed close up focus on the fabric texture. This is absolutely insane. It extracted his clothing and set it up like it was shot for a professional product listing. This could easily be used for any brand fashion store or even e commerce showcase. Now, let's try something else. I've got a model here and I want to change her pose. So I'll try make her sit cross legged on the floor, then change it so she's standing with one hand on her head and then pose her leaning against the wall with her arms crossed. Come on now, you're telling me the AI didn't even change her face. Okay, so it even gets better. Let's say I want to remove the clothing from my model and put them on a white background for product listings. This is absolutely incredible. Look at this. 
It took the exact same outfit of the model and laid them out perfectly for a white background like a professional shoot. The fabric details, the colors, even the way they are positioned. This looks like it came straight from a high-end fashion website. This would normally take hours of photography and editing. I've got an idea. Let's try putting this clothing on our previous model and see how it fits. Dude, this is absolutely mind-blowing. It took those flat product images and perfectly fitted them onto our model like he's actually wearing them. Let's try colorizing an image. Take it from black and white and make it colorful. Look at this black and white conversion. It's not even a filter. It actually enhanced the contrast and details while keep everything else identical. This is professional level editing. All right, next one is gonna end every product photography business on the planet. I've got this woman and this energy drink. I wanna generate a professional advertisement. I'm gonna ask it to make her hold the energy drink. This is absolutely nuts. Perfect hand positioning, natural grip on the bottle. This is great. Now let's try and make her 10 years younger. This is actually the same person, but 10 years younger. Same bonus structure, same feature, just younger. Okay, but hold on, because I'm gonna show you something that's gonna make every graphic designer watching this panic. All right, so I've got this image here with this really cool artsy design, and it has someone else's name on it. Now, I wanna change it to my own name, but keep everything else exactly the same. The font, the style, the colors, the positioning, all of it. Are you seeing this? It changed the name perfectly, but kept the exact same artistic style. The same font effects and even the same colors and positioning. This is absolutely incredible. It understood the design intent and applied it flawlessly to different texts. All right, now let's try something fun. I've got this t-shirt here with some text on it and I want to change it to say, I love Saham because you know, gotta show some self-love, right? Let's see if Nara Banana can actually handle my ego. It actually did it. Look at this. It is the exact same font style and placement. It even kept the fabric wrinkles and the way the text curves with the t-shirt. I mean, I knew I was awesome, but seeing it on a t-shirt just hit different, you know? This is free for now, but I believe it has limit and you might wait for an hour to regenerate, but when you run out of your daily generation, just close the window, open up a fresh incognito tab and you're back in business. Look, I've tested every AI generator on the market. Most of them are overpriced garbage that can barely generate a consistent face. But this, this just changed everything. In my next video, I'm combining this with VO3 to create consistent AI influencer that hold your products and make user generated content. It's gonna be insane. So make sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.